What's up, you guys? It's Warren with Scale Audio, and today we're going to talk about the equal loudness curve or the Fletcher Munson curve. Let's take a look. Fletcher and Munson, who are actually two different people, ended up finding out by using frequencies at the same volume up and down the frequency range, we're more sensitive to some frequencies than other. And no surprise, we're more sensitive to the mid to high range that human voice sits within than most other frequency ranges. So to help demonstrate the Fletcher Munson curve, I'm actually gonna play for you single notes across the EQ range to show you what I mean when I say that some of it's perceived louder. The volume of this is not changing. However, if we pay attention, we'll notice that as we get higher into our mids here, we get this really strong and harsh louder volume being perceived and coming through our EQ here. Now what's going to happen is as that volume becomes louder, the sounds that are coming through that volume difference we're hearing is going to be less. So instead of blowing your ears out, I'll turn it down and we'll see that it becomes more. Turn it down some more. Right? Here's how that affects your mix. When you're mixing, if your volume is loud, you're actually gonna hear more high end and more bass than if your volume was low because we're sensitive to and we pick up that mid range. When you start turning up, we start compressing that mid-range down with our ears, okay? But when the volume's low, we get this sort of upwards compression or expansion going on where we hear that mid-range more. So the mid-range will kind of stay in place while that high and low will make more of a difference while you're boosting volume and turning volume down. So if you're mixing and you're doing it at high volumes, when you turn it down, your bass is gonna be gone, your hi-hats and stuff are gonna be turned down, your mix is gonna sound dull. If you mix while the volume's low, then all that's gonna happen is as you turn it up, you're gonna get a brighter and bassier sounding track, which will actually just reflect more into what you would think is high quality. It's, it's more pleasant than the other way around. That's about it for the Fletcher Munson Curve. If you liked this, like the video. If you've got a comment, comment below. And this is Warren with Scale Audio and adios.